What's up, you chuck fuck? It's your boy Dark Arco here with What If Issei Had the Prince Karma Seal Part 4. Now, yes, this is part 4 of this. Uh, what if part 5 will be in later, probably? I'll probably upload later. Not the point. I'm, uplo I'm uploading this right now, but fuck it. Or recording this right now, but yeah. Other than that, uh, I, I am recording this around like 8 in the morning. Which is surprising, because I upload almost all my waters around, like, 1 or 2 or whatever fucking hell. But not the point. Right now, it looks like it's about a rain or about a storm. I can't fucking tell. I can't tell if I can cut my grass or not. Which I probably won't be able to, because it's wet as fuck out there. Like, it's really wet. <laughs> like, it's wetter than the goddamn water. Even though water can't be... Yeah, you know, I'm not going into that whole fucking situation. What the fuck am I going on with? Nope, 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 nope. Fuck that shit. Now, let me just begin to this water and let me shut the fuck up, but yeah. We go into mostly, uh, with, well, mostly Issei, Sarah, and even Megami, who was actually Issei's son, but yeah. This is where, well, we go into their kind of talk. Well, mostly Megami is actually looking, or just kind of just walking around Sarah's house. Now, Sarah actually lives with her kind of parents, kind of, but yeah. Well, not really with her parents, she actually lives alone, but this is where, well... Issei does live with his kind of parents, even though he doesn't really want to at all. Yeah, he doesn't actually see them as truly parents, but whatever. But, of course, we're, well, mostly Megami lives with Issei in the apartments, but yeah. Or, he doesn't live with entirely his parents. He does live in the apartments half the time, but yeah. But this is where, well, Issei is kind of talking to Sarah. Sarah says, what do you mean? Dating? Wife? Uh, what are you... He said he kind of sighs, and this is where, well, he kind of holds onto Sarah's kind of hands, and this is where he said, like exactly I said, Megami sees you too much of, like, someone friendly, way too much. Either I make you <laughs> my girlfriend, or I make you my wife, which I don't have a ring on me, so I can't really propose to you. Oops, I should probably got a ring. This is where, well, mostly Sarah's face becomes red, and it's like, um, he said, aren't we a little too young to kind of be getting married? He says, yes, we are? <laughs> I keep forgetting that we're way too young. <clears throat> this is where, well, Sarah's too attractive. Because she actually knows that Issei's quite forgetful half the time. Literally. But, yeah. This is where, well, Sarah says, <laughs> yeah. But still, why do you really want to make me your wife? Or most of your girlfriend? We barely, Sarah, we've been knowing each other for at least how many months? Five. I'm just going to start asking you out. Because you see here, Megami really likes you. He's the only... Well, he's the child who's kind of picky as hell to see which type of girlfriend or wife I should get. Because, well, that's how Megami is. This is where... Well, we'll see. Sarah nodded. Now, of course, Issei met uh, Sarah around five months ago. While well, mostly he met Megami around mostly three months ago. Before he disappears in two months... To kind of train from school. Well, yeah. Tr uh, mostly two months disappearing from school. So, of course, yeah, it's been, yeah, a couple of day uh, months. But, yeah. This is where, well, of course, Sarah blushes and says, but is that really what you want? Me as your girlfriend or wife? You know, you can get, he says, says get someone better. There's no one else better than you. He says, you have these little cute, uh, fluffy ears anyway. This is where Issei grabs one of the ears. And this is where Sarah says, Hey, don't do that. This is where, well, Sarah's face is all red. This is where Issei grins and says, What? I can't grab one of those tails? Or not tails. Those ears? They're so cute, you know that? Very adorable. I think that's why Megami likes it a lot. Because he reminds him of one of his uh, darkness, or not darkness, one of his shadow uh, wolves half the time. This is where, well, his creation half the time. This is where also Sarah blushes and says, I see. Then why do you like me, other from Megami liking me a lot? <laughs> do you really not understand me at all? I like you because I have met you five months. You have been the only one bring, uh, being friendly to me, even in my dark emo phases half the time. And yet, you stay beside me. You didn't care about leaving me, doing any of it. And besides, even if you have bad intentions... Why were you always playing with Megami half the time? Always being friendly with him. If you were ha having to kill me, you would have done that a long time ago. A long time ago. Unless you're taking the long routes, which I refuse to believe that. Because my eyes can actually see emotions and other things. 
And I know you have feelings for me. Lots of them. This is where... Oh, Sarah blushes to say, I see. God, I hate those eyes half the time. Issa says, no, you don't. I know I, I can see your emotions. You can't say that. This is where... Oh, mostly Sarah blushes to say, shut up already. This is where... Oh, uh, Sarah sighs and says, fine. I'll go on a date with you. Fine. You No, let's just make this official relationship. This is where... Oh, well, mostly Issa grins and says, good. This is where, well, Issa was leaning in close with Sarah, and Sarah was actually blushing. She was actually thinking that she was going to get her first kiss, until Megami comes into her room and says, Wow, I didn't know you had a stuffed penguin. This is where, well, he, like, grabs this, like, giant stuffed penguin. And this is where, well, mostly Issa and Sarah face were red, because the fact that Megami was just walking in and kind of interrupting their kind of little moment. But, yeah, this is where he says, Damn it, Megami. This is where, well, right now Sarah blushes and says, uh, yeah, I do have a penguin. This is where, well, she's kind of like smiling at mostly Megami. What a friendly smile. Well, Issa is kind of disappointed a little bit. He was about to kind of get his first kiss, but no, gets ruined again. So this is where, well, mostly uh, Sarah says, yeah, it's called Mr. Penguin. I usually have him when I'm actually tired and I actually need to cuddle or something. This is where, well, mostly uh, Megami says, can I have him? I've been really uh, tired, and I don't like kind of hugging my dad when I'm asleep. This is where, well, mostly Issa goes to her and like, take, ah, that's fucked up, Megami. That's really fucked up. This is where, well, mostly Issa says, but I like kind of hugging my own son. This is where, well, mostly, well, they're not actually own son, but not the point. This is where, well, Megami says, now I have Mr. Penguin here with me. This is where he hugs it, and this is where, well, he's actually showing a friendly smile, and of course, hugging the penguin. This is where Sarah says, yeah, you can have it. Besides, I don't need to cut away that much. This is where, well, mostly he say kind of whisper into Sarah's ear saying, well, at least I have my own cuddly, now, what's it called, my own cuddly wolf with me. This is where Sarah's face becomes red and says, it's just not in front of Megami. Don't. He says, I know. I'm going to do it later. Probably at the night. He say grins with a toothy grin. Right now, making Sarah blush and says, mm. This is where, well, she looks away while mostly... Megami is too blind for this, but he knows what they're doing, but he's just ignoring it for right now. This is where, well, Issa says, okay, well, I don't know what to do. Pretty much we can go to the mall, shop or something, but I don't really want to kind of get found out by, like, the others. Well, I mean, if I see, uh, what's it called? This is where, well, Issa says, unless I meet Kimiosho, no, mostly not, uh, Q, wait, let me say that again. Uh, Kiyoshi, I don't think I'm gonna be able to see him again because he's usually with his daughters and I don't actually want to bother him with his own daughters Hmm. Well other than that, don't know what to do. Sarah, you got any ideas? Sarah says, I mean we can always just watch movies. I do have Netflix and other things That's where, well, mostly he kind of smiles and says, sure, we can do that. What do you want to do Megami? This is where, well Megami says, he's fell asleep already. This is where he says, and Sarah kind of just smiles Gently after seeing mostly Megami already asleep. This is where, well, mostly Issei kind of grabs Megami with the penguin. And of course, the where, well, mostly Sarah says, you can put him in the spare room. But yeah, this is where, well, Issei says, thank you again, uh, Sarah. You really are kind of helpful a lot and very beautiful. This is where, well, making most of Sarah blushes. But this is where, well, mostly Issei puts him in the spare room. Of course, he does kind of pull self because he's always worried about mostly Megami and his own safety. So of course the room actually is kind of like full of chakra and very powerful chakra for ever if ever Mosei Megami needs to use a uh, jutsu. And of course the chakra does react towards anyone that's not Sarah or Issei coming in, but yeah. Or even Megami, but yeah. Does it work well? It will actually create mostly shadow figures that mostly uh protect well Megami, but yeah. Since mostly Megami's own Kiki Kenkai is actually a very powerful kick and kick that allows him to create shadows. Like mostly out of either his own shadow or just, yeah, just shadows all around. But yeah, it's not darkness, uh, kick and kick it's just a shadow of kick and kick it's, sim it's similar to that of the Nar uh, clan, but yeah, but not much. This is what, well, making me to sleep while mostly Issei and Sarah actually start kind of watching just. Some kind of Netflix movie. Uh, let's say the the live action One Piece series. Yes, we're going with that. But yeah. This is where, well, mostly Sarah and Issei are kind of cuddling with each other. Because yes, they have a blanket. Of course, they're kind of... Issei has his arm around mostly Sarah's kind of like... Uh, mostly around her kind of 
back, mostly around her back neck, and just kind of have his arm laying near her kind of like left shoulder. Oh yeah, her left shoulder, and of course this is where, well, Sarah has her head right now, uh, kind of laying underneath his shoulder. This is where, well, mostly his chest and this is where, well, they are both basically watching, well, the live action movie of Netflix, uh, well, One Piece, but yeah. This is where, well, mostly, they are kind of just chuckling, laughing, and of course this is where, well, the movie, well, not the movie, I think it's a series or movie, I can't remember. But of course the work will end after a while. Of course they're both really tired. It is right now dark. Ethan can go back to his apartments but refuses to. Instead he actually decides to cuddle with Sarah. This is where Sarah doesn't mind neither and of course cuddle with Issei. This is where well, they both fall asleep, but yeah. Now we go into a time skip. A, well, before we go into a time skip, we go into a couple of people getting lost. This is where, well, they can't find Issei because Issei has no magic. And, of course, they can't find Megami because he also has no magic. And they don't know who exactly Sarah is, if it's that girl. But then again, they know who that girl was, who was with mostly Kim, uh, Kiyoshi. Kiyoshi kind of is, uh, well, yeah, Kiyoshi. And, of course, they know that girl who actually does go to the school. Her name is Junko, and she's quite young that most of the time. Now, of course, they know her not much but of course it worked well they don't know if that's sarah or not which is not because her name was junko but yeah of course one girl with blonde share kind of noticed her name was similar to basically hers but yeah this work well just the first name this work well mostly they're confused in if they get mostly junko the girl with blackish hair and reddish eyes how are they gonna mostly separate both junkos from mostly just different names this is where well junko wants to stay normal while the other girl they don't really have any way to contact her or talk to her at all and probably refuses to talk to anyone except for her crush which is easy but yeah this is where well we go into mostly uh the next day mostly a time skip of the next day and this is where well both of them are really cutting each other each other just because it kind of was cold a little bit but of course easy's body heat and of course sarah's kind of already fluffed it's kind of just made a perfect kind of like nice cozy place to just snuggle. But yeah, of course it was school today, but Ethan didn't give it damn that much ago. This is where, well, mostly Megami yawns. Of course, he's out of his room. And this is where, well, he does have the penguin. Seeing mostly both of his kind of parents, or mostly, yeah, adopted parents. Being, well, mostly Ethan and, well, Sarah right now kind of cuddling with each other and sleeping. This is where, well, Megami noticed the time. And this is where, well... He doesn't know if his father actually goes to school anymore. Because mostly, Issei just said that he was going to drop out. But he didn't actually specifically say when he's going to drop out. And this is where, well, mostly, Megami sighs and decides to kind of go up to both of his parents. This is where, well, he decides to put the penguin right next to Sarah's face. While mostly, or mostly kind of managed to kind of use some of his shadow to kind of grab Issei away from Sarah. Which Sarah kind of felt kind of lonely of not cuddling with Issei. So of course the word the penguin was put there. So of course she cuddled with it. This is where she didn't even know the difference that much. Because she was too tired. Exhausted most of the time. This is where well. And she was too cozy in her position. But yeah. Well mostly Issei was kind of tried out. And this is where well. Megumi kind of grins. With a very sinister grin. This is where well. He kind of gets on top of one of his shadows and then jumps on Issei. He's saying, wake up! This is where, well, mostly Issei said, huh? This is where Issei gets hit in the stomach. This is where, go, <coughs> This is where, well, Issei says, Megami, what are you doing? This is where, well, he passes out a little bit. But this is where, oh, after a while, he wakes up. But yeah, this is where Sarah's already in the kitchen kind of cooking because she did got startled up by waking up, seeing mostly Megami jump on mostly Issei, which she kind of giggles, but yeah. This is where, well, Issei kind of just like sighs after a while when he wakes up and just looks at Megami. He doesn't show any murderous look, but whatever. He just looks with an angry look, and angry pout, a little bit, saying, Megami, why the hell did he do that? Megami says, you gotta go to school. This is where Sarah says, ah, yeah, I forgot about school. This is where, well, mostly Issei sweat jumps and says, I don't need to go to school. I gotta go, go, go get a job or something. Or mostly just go get another contract job. This is where, well, mostly, uh, Sarah says, Issei, you gotta go to school. What about your parents? <sighs> they don't really care in what I do most of the time. So, I don't really care in what they wanna, want me to do. But other than that, why do you care so much about me going to school? Shouldn't you care about me staying here with Megami and taking care of him? 
just like a proper family. This is where, well, we'll see, Sarah blushes say, you gotta go to school. How about this? We all go to your school. Since, since isn't it open house today? He says, squash up and says, oh, fuck, you're right. Uh, you know what? Yeah, it's fun. I don't think they really would care. This is where, well, Sarah then grins and says, okay. Then I'll show up in my proper best clothing. This is where, well, he says, yeah, but I'm going to show up in all black. I don't care. This is where, oh, he says, so tired that he just doesn't care about showing up in all black, but whatever. And screw the damn uniform. It's so annoying to wear that. This is where, well, we'll see. Megami says, so what do I have to wear? This is where, well, we'll see. He says, grins and says, oh, I know what you can wear. This is where, well, we'll see. Megami says, I'm not wearing a chicken costume. He says, oh, but you look so adorable in it. This is where, well, mostly Megami say, hmm. This is where, well, Sarah kind of just giggles at the scene. Both Issei and even Megami's antics, but yeah. This is where Sarah says, but Megami, what if you can wear a wolf costume? This is where, well, Megami says, ooh, I like to wear that. This is where, well, mostly uh, Sarah kind of smiles. It was a gentle smile scene. Uh, well, Issei sees this, and of course, he kind of just grins a little bit because after seeing that smile, he actually kind of got turned on a little bit, but not much. But this is where, well, Mostly, this is where, well, Sarah says, okay, I'll go get you the wolf costume. This is where, well, mostly, uh, Megami says, yeah. This is where, well, he says, says, yeah. This is where, well, mostly, Megami kind of just snaps the finger saying, dad, stop looking at Sarah like that. Just because you two are dating doesn't mean that you two gotta be flurry like that. This is where, well, mostly, he says, how do you know that word? Dad, I've been around the block for a while before you adopted me, so I know a lot of things. He says, says yeah. I keep forgetting about that. You were kind of abandoned by your actual father, who's actually a deadbeat. Whatever. This is where, well, we'll see, uh, Megami saying, hmm. This is where, well, he pouts, but yeah, this is where he says, he's good little Megami. He just pouts him in the head, but yeah, it kind of looks like this. So it kind of looked like this panel up here, mostly how Issei was just patting him. And of course, his face has become mostly puff, but yeah. This is where, well, we'll see, Megami says, stop that, stop it already, this is where, well, we'll see, Issei grins and says, fine, I'll stop, this is where, well, we'll see, uh, Sarah comes back with the wolf costume, now, the wolf costume kind of looks like this, well, it's not a costume, it's mostly like a jumpsuit, but yeah, this is where, well, he kind of puts on the kind of wolf, uh, jumpsuit, and this is where, well, he does have a tail, and of course, he does have ears on top of his head, he does show his face, and this is where, well, he kind of says, so how do I look? This is where, well, we'll see, he says, says great. This is where, well, uh, right now Sarah blushes and kind of smiles gently and says, great, also. This is where, well, she only blushes because Issei kind of grabs her tail, just softly, and this is where, well, Sarah doesn't want Issei to do that, but Issei only did it because it has to kind of, well, he likes her kind of fluff of her tail, but yeah. This is where, well, Mostly Megami says, okay, I'm gonna go check the mirror. This is where, well, mostly he kind of runs off, but this is where, well, Sarah says, he says, don't do that. He says, hey, fine, fine, but I want to say something for, uh, something to you. Sarah says, what's that? I really like your smile when you actually gave that to Megami about the uh, jumpsuit. This is where, well, Sarah blushes, and this is where Issei leans in closer to her, and before she even knows it, Issei just kiss her. This is where, well, Issei grins and says, there, I took her first kiss. Now you're mine, definitely. This is where, well, Sarah blushes and says, uh, Issei. This is where, well, mostly, uh, Megami comes back and says, yeah, I look like a wolf. This is where, well, this is where, well, mostly, uh, Megami says, I look like, just like mom. This is where, well, making Sarah blush and this is where Issei kind of grins and says, yeah, you do. Well, we should probably be going then. This is where, well, mostly, Megami kind of says, yeah. This is where, well, he kind of gets on, mostly, well, asks for mostly Sarah to actually kind of pick him up and actually carry him. Which mostly saddens Issei, because Issei really just like picking up Megami most of the time. But this is where, well, Sarah just kind of holds on to Megami. And this is where, well, they go off, well, it's locking the door behind and then kind of going off to school. But yeah, towards Issei's school. But yeah, Sarah doesn't actually go to school at all. And she doesn't really care about going to any school because, well, yeah, she really has better things to do. But yeah, I train, but not the point. This is where, well, they get to the school of Issei, and this is where, well, Issei starts out and says, whatever. This is where, well, they're walking in, and this is where, well, Issei yawns because he needs to get to his first class. And this is where, well, Issei says, oh, what is this BS? This is where, well, Sarah says, oh, come on, Issei. It's not that bad, is it? You don't want to disappoint Megami in being a little bit dumb in school. 
That's where Aunt E.C. looks at Sarah and just kind of says, Fine, I will impress both of you. Just just show how smart I am. For this one time. Other than that, I don't really care about any other time. This is where, well, hmm. Sarah nodded and, of course, just smiles. And this is where, well, mostly Issei sees that gentle smile again and he wants to take her notes again. This is where, well, Sarah notices what Issei's trying to do until mostly Sarah says, okay, get to your class. This is where, well, mostly she said, sternly, and, of course, Issei says, fine. This is where, well, mostly they kind of get to the class of where mostly Issei said. He says yawning is literally science. And this where well, the teacher says, Ah, oh, welcome back there, Kyoto. Where have you been? This is where, well, he says, I don't care where the hell I've been. I've just been around, far away from this place. But you know what, I can't ever stay far away from this place because I get bothered. But well, fuck it. This is where, well, mostly the teacher sweat drops. This is where, well, the teacher says, Okay, today's going to be open house. Right now, there's not many parents that are going to show up in first hour because it's literally first hour. This is where, well, everyone kind of nodded. This is where, well, everyone is kind of going to do their own work and other things. And this is where, well, EC says, where the hell is mostly Megami and Sarah? They're probably doing something else. This is where, well, mostly they are going inside the classroom of uh, EC, which Megami is not afraid, and neither is Sarah. And of course, this is where, well, this is where well, the teacher says, ah, it seems that a parent might have come in. With mostly a child. So who are you looking for? This is where, well, the teacher kind of questions Sarah. Sarah says, uh-huh. Child? Oh, no, I'm looking for my boyfriend. This is where, well, Sarah kind of just admits. This is where, well, mostly the teacher says, Do you even go to the school? Not exactly. No, not even close. This is where, well, mostly the teacher says, And who's your little brother here? This is where, well, Sarah says, That's my child. This is where she said with a straight face. This is where, well, everyone's shocked to hear this. This is where, well, Megami says, Dad, dad, dad. He like literally points at Issei. Issei kind of smiles and says, Hey, Megami. This is where, well, he knows that everyone's going to explode, but he doesn't care about anyone. Everyone says, What? Dad? Huh? What? Huh? This is where, well, mostly Issei kind of just smiles and says, Hey, Megami. This is where, well, mostly he says, Megami Kun. This is where, well, mostly Sarah kind of smiles and says, I'm just going to go look at my boyfriend, what he's doing. Other than that, bye. This is where, well, mostly. Uh, Sarah kind of just walks up to where mostly Issei's at. Of course, is where well she smiles gently while Issei does the same. While well, Megumi is just looking at the work that Issei's doing, mostly his paperwork, which mostly it seems to be a lot for mostly Megumi because he's a little bit confused in all this work. But yeah, this is what well mostly Issei says. So, what are you going to be doing now, Megumi? Do you want to learn science? This is where Megami says, it seems a little too hard. I think I'd rather not. He says, so and says, oh, come on, Megami, it's not that bad. I mean, other than, this is where, well, both, what's it called, both of his friends in the front of him, mostly both of the perverted friends, being Morahama Matsuda. Matsuda jumps up and says, what? You have a wife already? This is where Morahama says, what, you do? When the hell did you get a girlfriend? Actually, when do you knock her up to actually have a child? This is where, well, mostly, uh, Sarah puts mostly her hands over Megami's ears just so mostly they, she doesn't let Megami hear that. And this is where, well, you say narrow his eyes and say, shut the fuck up, both of you. First of all, I didn't knock her up just yet. So, of course, she doesn't have my actual child. First of all, Megami's adopted, but not the point. He's my child yet, and if you dare try to annoy him, I'll kill you in an instant. You say, said with such a murderous tone. This is where she's sending chills to everyone, even the teacher. This is where, well, Sarah says, and don't you dare say those perverted words around my child, or I'll kill you also. This is where, well, said, uh, Sarah said it with such a murderous look in her eyes, and of course her eyes went slick for a little bit. This is where, well, mostly Issei kind of just grins after seeing mostly Sarah kind of be overprotective of Megami also. This is where Issei says, I really gotta make her mine. This is where Issei says in his head, but yeah. This is where, well... Everyone's sweat drops, even mostly Catherine and Moriyama, they're just shocked to see someone that mostly they believe to be Sarah to be mostly Issei's girlfriend, but yeah, official girlfriend because she's just that. This is where well, everyone's shocked, and so we go into a time skip of them, kinda. <sighs> a time skip of them, kind of, well, mostly getting to next hour, but yeah. Issei and Sarah are talking while Megami is right next to them, right now holding both of their hands and kind of just walking, but yeah. This is where, well, Sarah says, so what's your next class? Issei says, art. And I don't want to go to art. Why do I have to go to art? Please, please, Sarah, have, have a heart. Let, let me just 
walk around with you to why do I have to go to class? Sarah grins and says, Because you have to learn. You have to be smart for your child. This is where oh what's the Issei start? Thompson says, Fine. <laughs> Issei's crying, but yeah. Other than that, I'm getting kind of like tired, but of course I gotta do something. So I'm gonna leave it off here for only uh part four. Part five will be whenever, but right now I gotta do something. But yeah, other than that, bye soon, yeah.